Okay, hi students. So today I will be doing chapter six, angles and tangents of circles, form three. Okay. So this is chapter six, angles and tangents of circles. So we're gonna. To do about this topic today. Okay, so first of all, there are, there are four parts of this topic: six point one, six point two, six point three, and six point four. Okay, there are four parts. So the first part would be angle at circumference. Here, okay, the first part is. Angle at the circumference and central angle subtended by an arc. So this is the first part, six point one. Okay. Angle at the circumference and central angle subtended by an arc. So six point two would be cyclic quadrilaterals. Okay. So this is the second part. And what is the third part? The third part would be tangents to circles. Okay, tangents to circles. This would be your third part. And the fourth part is about. Angles and tangents of circles. Okay, so these are the four subtopic of this topic six. Okay, so I'll go through the first part. Okay, six point one. Angle at the circumference and central angle subtended by an arc. Okay, so for you to understand more on this on this particular subtopic six point one, you must be good at uh, angles. Okay, okay. So I'll start with it. So the first thing that you need to know all the angles at the Circumference subtended by the same arc are equal. Okay, so all the angles at the circumference subtended by the same arc are equal. So I'll draw something now, okay, for you to understand more about this number one. Okay, this is a circle. Okay. So from here, this is the angle x x x. Okay. This is P. This is Q. This is A. This is B, and this is C. This is P Q. Huh? 
we must know that the angle PAQ is equals to the PBQ which is also equals to PCQ so from here what do you, do we know that all the angles X are subtended by the minor arc PQ. So make sure you understand this. Okay. So this one here is the key point. So the angle. So the angle. The angle PAQ is equals to the angle PBQ, which is also equals to the angle PCQ. Okay, so all the angles X are subtended by the minor arc PQ. Okay, the second one, number two. angles at the circumference subtended by arcs of equal length are also equal in size okay so i'll show you okay so from here we know that this is b this is s Okay, there's an angle here okay there's an angle here both of these are the same so this is AC and this is RT so what do we know from here so when the length when the length of minor arc AC is equals to the length of the minor arc RT then the angle ABC is equals to the angle RST so listen carefully when the length of the minor arc AC which is this uh, which is this uh, minor arc AC is equals to the length of the minor arc RT this one okay, this part then the angle of ABC which is see ABC which is this okay it is equals to the angle of R s t which is this okay for the notes part for 6.1 that's all okay i will go through some of the examples okay some of the eg examples for you to understand a little bit more detail so in terms of question Okay, in terms of questions okay uh, okay number one I'll draw the question first huh? okay 
There's an angle here which is 35. There's an angle here which is Y. Okay. So what are they asking? They're asking find the value of Y. This is the this this is the easiest okay this is the most easiest example I can show you okay so the solution is very very simple you should get the answer by now already okay what is it just by looking at it you know what is the answer so the angles at the circumference are subtended by the same arc which is y equals to 35 degree okay I'll show you another example. Okay, another example. Listen very carefully, yeah. Okay. So Okay. So from here this is C, this is D, this is F and this is G. This and this arc are the same. There's an angle here X, there's an angle here 63 degree. Okay. We don't know what is the angle for DF. And the question is the question is Find the value of x. Okay, find the value of x. And what is the solution? If you want, you can pause the video and try to do it on yourself. And then you can check back through my video the answer. Okay. So the answer is quite simple. Okay. The length of arc CD is equal to the length of arc FG. Therefore, the angle COD is equal to 63 degree. This is your answer. You see, they are asking, listen very carefully, they are asking X, I'll go to X. And X, it is same as FG, okay, the length of arc CD is same as the length of arc FG. So the angle must be the same. So don't get panic once you see the diagram. The diagram doesn't give anything regarding DF. So don't get panic, you read the question first okay and then answer it so for this question the answer is straightforward okay the length of arc cd is same as the length of arc fg so therefore the angle cod is equals to 63 okay so we have done on 6.1 and i've done two examples on it so if you want me to do more questions on this particular subtopic 6.1 please do comment below okay i'll make sure i'll do some other intermediate questions and also some hot questions for you guys okay i'll see you again on the next video peace